Welcome to the Christy Taylor Show. I'm your host, Christy Taylor. And here in the month of July, I've been talking about music. And one thing that you can do with music is groove. And it's nothing like a sister in her groove. And I'm going to have an opportunity to talk to some amazing ladies. But first, I want to say thank you to my sponsors, the Podcast Center, and also Christy Taylor Consulting. Thank you so very much for supporting us. Now, of course, it's all about sisters in the groove, as well as the, sis the ladies first chit chat crew, a sisterhood of women. Now, this started off as an idea. The creator, Nikki Kimbrough, wanted to bring together a group of women to support one another in the midst of the world shutting down during the global pandemic of 2020. Now, the show originally was planned for one weekend. What began as a Saturday of love and support on March 28th, 2020, has turned into a sisterhood of women who gather from all around the world on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The ladies' first chit-chat crew brings together the expertise and dopeness of Lachelle Wooder, Chandra, Crystal, Nikki Uncaus, Edme, also, yes, my girl Nikki Kim Kimbrough, and I am just totally, y'all, together they honor the voice of the everyday woman. Ladies, hey, give it up to all the ladies here, including our our long-term friend, here she is. there you go, there you go. I love it. Okay, so I, I butchered names, but y'all love me anyway, right? Sisterhood. <laughs> we got you, girl, we got you. I, I like the okay. listen. So here we go, we do this. Take your moment to reintroduce yourselves and tell me something significant or special about yourself. Let's talk with Nikki Unbombs. <laughs> You have to unmute yourself, Nikki. Yes. So if you see me do this, ladies, it's the unmute. Yeah. It's the unmute. It's the unmute. <laughs> Nikki. Yes. Yes. So I'm Nikki Unboss. Um, it, it has been quite a journey over the year to actually be a part of this great sisterhood. Um, what I offer in this group is my journey. Right. And my journey to also invite others to journey with me as well. And the focus on that has been not waiting on permission, uh, not waiting for someone to decide when it's my time and being able to give myself a voice, even if I have to create it, because I'm not going to wait for somebody else to do it for me. So that's what I want to the conversation and to the sisterhood and the journey that we're taking with all these women. I love it. I love it. Nikki Unboss. Okay, Nikki Cambro. What's up, everybody? Hi, Christy. Thank you for hey, having me. My girl's on. I am Nikki Kimbro, also known as Get Fit with Nick. Um, I, I'm a fitness expert. Um, Performer, entertainer, producer, whatever. I do it. I do, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the everyday woman, <laughs> just like all of us. I'm also the creator of the Ladies First Chit Chat crew. And one of the reasons, like I said, I created this show, I was going through a phase in my life that I needed to put myself first. I wasn't putting myself first, I was just giving, 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 giving. And when the pandemic happened, I was like, okay, what can I do to put myself first? I know there are other women out there feeling the same way. And so I feel very blessed and honored to have brought these amazing women together to, I always say, I always say, Lachelle gives us therapy. Crystal's like having lunch with your best friend. Nikki Don Boss making make sure we get to the point, we got the bottom line and we are just, you know, bossing up as women. Ed May brings that fire, that firecracker to the group. I'll call Chandra the maven. She's like, it's like going to church. And with me, it's all about a journey of self-discovery. So that's who we are. That's who I am because of these women. Yeah. Wow. I'm loving this already. And you know something? I just would like for us to turn the Chrissy Taylor show for this episode into the uh, experience that you all have every Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, Crystal, uh, tell me something about you, something special that I need to know. What you need to know, Krista Taylor, is that I'm a woman that loves women. 
right? Mm -hmm. I'm a woman that has has grown because I've had amazing women in my life that have poured into my life. This is an extension of what I I feel I am. Um, I I believe that we are more when we're honest, when we're candid, when we share. Um, I know some women are like, I don't want to tell them all my business. Listen, if you said I had a miscarriage, right. the sister next to you would be like, so did I. Yeah. If you say, I, you know, girl, I ain't got no money. Uh, need to do, you know, you know what I mean. I don't right. want to say I'm, I'm ashamed. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like that sometimes. I'm scared. So am I. Right. So and I and what I have experienced mm. from this and what you should know about me is I really I've lived long enough that now I am um, I really am my authentic self. And I bring mm. that like I don't mm. it flawed. Maybe I say the wrong things. Maybe my thoughts are a little disjointed, but am I, mm. I am always, always seeking to just be my um, um just as authentic as possible because that's all I got. That's Crystal all day, every day, meetings with my son, with my husband, with my family. I'm I'm you getting the full crystal every time, which is really just mm -hmm. just straight like really, really transparent. So and and probably a little too nice, but <laughs> but you know what Crystal she's leaving out? She's she's that girl. What is it, Crystal? At least um with bamboo I'm, earrings, at least two pair. Yeah, that's what she is. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm a hip hop girl too, you know. Look, okay, watch it. Okay. Watch it. Oh, oh, they're, oh they're, they're kind of big. Okay. That's there they go. There they go. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, Edme. Hi. 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 Hi, love. I love the white, by the way, ladies. Uh, me, Edme. My name is Edme Shieldio.exe. Don't try to say it two times. You might uh, twist your tongue. Um, I always say that a joke is somebody uh, do me wrong. I'll tie them up on the chair and have them repeat my name 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Try that. Anyway, uh, about me. I want to say that what you see is just the beginning of what's going to be tomorrow. Mm. Thanks to Nikki, I've never really had a, a, a group of women around me. I'm kind of more mm. of a tomboy do it by myself type of woman. And mm -hmm. I realized that it's time to change that way because mm -hmm. the old way wasn't working and the old way was not bringing me to what I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was, I'm reading this book and as she said, the future is now. Yes, the future yeah. is now and I'm working for tomorrow and I'm working to making myself what I really want to do. The one thing about me through the years and ups and downs and, if you listen to the show, you can find out more. Is uh, the Saturday 11 o'clock show? I'm talking about this one, the Christie show, of course. <laughs> too. Uh, something about me is I always stay optimistic no matter what. I mm -hmm. always believe that um, there's a better tomorrow. I never take no for an answer, and I always look for a better way. And mm -hmm. no matter how many times I'm going to fall down, you know I'm going to get up. And you know I'm going to yes. get up stronger. And you know that, that's what I'm saying, that tomorrow is a different me. Because tomorrow, I will have fall down a hundred times. And when mm -hmm. I'm going to really get up, that's going to be a whole different me. Yes. <laughs> you know, that, that bounce back, that resilience, that, uh, that comeback in you. I love that. Chandra? Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise <laughs> the I, I didn't tell you all I grew up Baptist and Pentecostal and got the care So I got oh, this about every. Come on, don't make me. Come on. Christy, we a, we a shouting crew now. We a shouting crew. Uh, honey, okay. I'm right at home. I'm right yes. at home. I am Chandra Prophet Ardre. I am. You know, I, 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 we all pretty much are the same woman, just, you know, filtered out in different forms at, at whatever time you catch us. But mm -hmm. I am unapologetically great at everything that I do. I walk into spaces and, and demand attention by just showing up 100%. Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, I, I was at a level before meeting these women that was our, you know, of recognition and, and, you know, in my own 
um, power, I guess you can say, but yeah. meeting women, meeting women that basically enhance you or uh, push you to the next level. Like this is this is the group that we have uh, created. is a is a group of like pushing you to the next to the next level. So I, in the year that we have been together, I've definitely um, grown, matured. Um, stretched to levels that I didn't even know. And I'm a stretcher. I, I try to stretch myself in, in everything that I do, but um, you know, I definitely have been stretched in different in different ways. And so um, you know, what you see is they say what you see is what you get, but what you see isn't necessarily what you get because I got more. <laughs> Come on, bring that. Bring hey. that. Okay. I love that. I love Can I that. Something, Christy? You said yeah, you naked. Naked. on Saturday. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> come on. I, I just want to say I'm unapologetically great at everything I everything. do. I wrote that. You know what I mean? That's a t-shirt. That's a I was, I was like, ooh, ooh. I, I know. I, 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 I want to do mine over. It was just, <laughs> no. It was a, it was a no, I want to do mine over. <laughs> <laughs> It was the delivery. It was like, I'm Sean yes. and I'm Audrey, and I'm unapologetically great at everything. Yes, yes. That's an intro. That's an intro. That's a elevate us all. That was a hit us in our own shot. You know what I mean? Listen, that, and that, that has happened over this year. I have definitely... Um, before before this year and before being put into a space where I have to, to show up and mm. people are waiting for us to show up, mm. Yes, they um, are. I, I, I would kind of dim my light just slightly mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. walk into spaces and like kind of check it out before presenting myself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. presenting my greatness. But since mm -hmm. doing since being a part of this um, sisterhood and being and going into other spaces that I had never, never been in, I definitely go in there with just like this is this is it. This is what I'm, I'm bringing. I'm here because mm -hmm. you you want me. And yes. so I'm coming into this space being me unapologetically. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that is is a mantra that I've always had, but now it's just like amplified. Uh -huh. well, Lachelle is over there about to have a church by her. We don't get all you know that. You know that one missionary in the back like, y'all don't ever have to call on me. I'm going to be happy right over here. That is me all day long. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi, Lachelle. Thank you for having us here. Um, so I'm Lachelle Wooten. I am the truth and the light. Um, okay, the truth and the light. I am um, many things, but I am uh, a very, very happy soul. I am a mom mm -hmm. of some young men. I'm a life coach. I'm a social, emotional wellness warrior. Wow. Um, and what mm -hmm. I try to bring to every space I'm in, mm -hmm. and certainly to the Ladies First Chit Chat crew, is uh, unapologetic joy. Ah. And I really mm -hmm. do, um, I don't dim my light. I won't mm -hmm. dim my light. And I, I show it as much as I can to, to try to example to those who are mm -hmm. trying to find their way out of dark spaces. Um, and that's what our Saturdays are about is right shining a light on all our dark spaces um, and giving us a collective energy that helps each of us in our own way pull ourselves up into the light where we all belong so that is no, my contribution I, I i i'm loving this i'm loving it so i don't know how the saturdays flow but i the, the theme and the reoccurring energy is about that inner light is about that ability to, to walk into a room to be able to be unapologetic, whoever and all fully who we are. Wow. And yeah. in evolution. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'd yeah. offer, I don't offer that what we're doing is allowing other women to realize they're not alone, right? We're doing yes. things, everything that may have happened to you that you're not talking to anybody about, we're talking about out loud. Yeah. Right. And I'd offer that we show up every week. The way we even come up with our shows every week is because we talk about what happened over the week, mm -hmm. right? And we're not giving like advice to anyone. We're sharing from our own experiences of mm -hmm. how we've handled situations. 
And we might not always totally agree, but that's the beauty of it, being able yeah, to, yeah. you know, consider other people's thoughts and how they'd approach it or how they look at it. But in general, we're just doing it. It's like listening to girlfriends speak. Right. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because often we are really figuring out our own internal dilemmas on the show. Wow. Right. We're like talking to one another. We're listening to one another. We're listening to the people in our audience who are writing in the chat. And we're like literally just talking off the mm -hmm. cuff from how we feel and what is impacting us from what we're sharing. That's and that is that's something very freeing. Yeah. Quick question. Hot topics. What have you all discussed? Like some what were some of the ones that really like when you walked away from it or came away from that show like that really you know, hit me a different way than I was thinking before the beginning of the show. Mm. Asking for help. That mm. was a that big was a show one. called Asking for Help? It was, if you just open your mouth and ask, it can save mm. your life and somebody else's life too. Mm. Um, it and, was impeccable. And we, um, we had one of our audience members on the show. And mm -hmm. um, what we were able to realize on like live is that Nikki asking for help and our guest asking for help almost a year later literally saved her life. Liter physically, she was she would have been not with us any longer had she not asked for help. And Nikki had an answer because Nikki asked for help. So that was a big hot topic for us. Oh wow! Uh, another one I would say was um, a forget uh, the, the forgiveness show that we did. Uh, yes, leaning into forgiveness, being forgiving yourself, forgiving others mm -hmm. around you, and being able to just own own what what is forgiveness, and be able to really walk and 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 yeah. maneuver in that because we we always think that forgiveness is the other person but really the forgiveness is so that you can maneuver you know the other person if they forgive you or not like it, it is what yeah. it is but as long as you can you know have that peace within yourself then you're able to really move and shape that was that was like a good a big shift, shift show for me <laughs> yeah yeah a big, a big shift show for me was in season one when we did the show the year we all woke up and it was during yes. um, George Floyd, everything last yeah. year. And I'll never forget, Chandra looked at me on screen and she was like, it's time. Because, you know, oh. you, know yes. you, 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 you try, you know, we're, we're, we want to be positive and this and that. Yeah. And, and, and in being positive, we also mm -hmm. get to keep it real and talk about what's really going on. And wow. the year we all woke up, mm. I, I got to be honest with you, was one of the first times I felt comfortable saying, not, I don't want to say comfortable because I've always felt comfortable, but I really was like, I am a black woman. This is yeah. who I am. Yes. And this is what I stand for. And this yes. is what I won't stand for. And if you don't yeah. want to, if you're not with it, then you don't need to be with me. And that yeah. was you can get with this or you can get with that. And that was the first time that that was the that was the first time I said I'm unapologetically great at everything I do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes, I love it. I love it. Because uh, again, we've touched on everything. We've yeah. touched on fear. We've touched on boundaries. We've helped people. Um, Lachelle did an awesome session on creating vision boards and why do we want to do that? I mean, I had never created a vision board, nor had I really ever paid attention to the beauty and the impact that I could have in your life. That was, we all left that show, you know, everybody was creating vision boards, right? And people are living off of it now. And I mean, I even like the show I led, right? What was it? Creating, um, creating a space where, you know, your That's options right. are only limited by your decision mm -hmm. to choose them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we've touched on just about any and everything we can think of and more. <laughs> yeah. Right, I still have I still have a whole lot of things to talk about. I was thinking yeah. one of the shows that really, and I reference it when I speak to people, is a show that we did on trusting your gut. Yes, because we talk yes. ourselves, our head talks and does all the stuff. When your gut is like, girl, that ain't him. 
That ain't him. Right, that right. ain't your that ain't your husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, or you know but, <laughs> that ain't your life. So life. but you yeah. know, I think I think one of the one of the things that is is very continual is that we are living the lives that we're talking about. And to Nikki's mm-hmm. point, Nikki, I'm just, we don't come as experts, but like, if you got a big sister, little sister situation, your big sister said, listen, don't go over there. Right. Because X, Y, Z, you might go, you may go over there or you might be like, oh, listen to my sister. Cause she already told me that that wasn't good for me. So hopefully mm-hmm. we have a, a little bit of big sister, little sister stuff in here, mm-hmm. and we just share it with everybody. I, I, well, we were going to talk I, about the, it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was going to say we'll be talking more about that big sister, little sister when we come right back. one day and Nikki yeah. you have made it a show with a fabulous website everybody who's checking us out please check them out on Facebook Instagram Twitter their website is fabulous I love Thank it you. well-designed website y'all I'm old school with that I know people like I'm just social honey no give me a website give me, <laughs> give, me uh, give me the old school www uh, but let me tell you this big sister little sister um, now Chandra just from you know, black don't crack. House and never. It looks like you're the younger in the family. Is, am I right on that, y'all? I'm the oldest. <laughs> that means you're the oldest. <laughs> no, I am. I'm the youngest of the group. <laughs> and the reason I wanted to verify that is because you are hanging with some powerful women who have been on their own personal journeys. That's How- what I'm going to tell you. Because you're a powerful sister already at, <laughs> in, your, in your space. But what are you learning about yourself as you hang with women who've journeyed years and decades past what you've entered yet? I would that's, be- great. that's a great question. And it is exactly what you just said. They, they've they already done the work for me. And so I can I learn so much from them because it's stuff that I now don't have to, mm. you know, I don't have to go through those things. I don't have to make those mistakes. I don't have to, you know, go through the same things that we had one, one show where we had um, another one of our audience members who is in her thirties. Um, like I am. And she was just asking, she asked a question and it was, it was something that both Chrissy and I'm sorry, Crystal, our, our, we call her, we call our Crystal Christy too. <laughs> okay. But Crystal and um, Nikki on boss, they're, they have been in this field and they were able to pour into her and let her know, like, don't do a, don't do B. If you can do C and D first, then that, that will work, you know? And that just gave her the, the option of not having to fall in this corporate world that, you know, we were just entering, but, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful to have these examples and these, um, you know, matriarchs that I'm just like following right behind and not having to trip over stuff that they already tripped over. And I'm just like, oh, okay, that's smooth now. I get it. But, but let me, <laughs> but, Chris, but Christy, okay. First of all, we all feel like we're Lachelle's little sister because she knows all things. Yes. So we all, listen, and Chandra, a, mm-hmm. Chandra 
girl be she got she's making her own herbs that she's cooking with and we don't know how to do mm. that and she's telling us what to do so i think we all have a big sister little sister Dying. Yeah, because there are many, many yeah. times when Chandra <laughs> big sisters us. Chandra is the the person in our in our sisterhood that is like, hell yeah, you gonna do that? That's why, why I don't, what you waiting for? I thought you left right. already. Like she right. is the boldest, quite yes. honestly. She is the boldest. Right? She, she's the boldest. uninhibited by some mm -hmm. of the things that were placed upon us a generation ahead of her. Okay, and so Michelle, we live off thank of that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that because I, I just turned 55 in December. I like telling my age because we're from a generation a lot of folks didn't make it. Martin right. Said. You're right. And You're right. I like celebrating my age because when I do talk to my millennial friends and some that are even Zoomers, they're like, first of all, Miss Christie, I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, I, I let I'm now accepting the Miss Christie because we first like, right. no, Miss Christie. But now I'm like, no, 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 take take what you earn. Miss Christie and, but they will be like, why are you pausing? Why are you hesitating? Like you've already right. 30 years worth of greatness. Why are you shaking now? And yes. when I tell you, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm That's there. That's Ashandra, yes. Yeah. yeah. I, love <laughs> I love that big sister, little sister vibe that we're having. But, but what you said to that point, Lachelle, was that what was put upon us a generation ago or two, in our in from the 70s 80s and 90s really did sometime make us great in one area but insecure in another right absolutely and, that, and that's I'm so the, glad. the beauty of our show is that we reach literally we don't have a target market because right. we we reach a demographic of women that is from 20s, teens, you know, I don't know. To 80s. Is, is to 80s. Mine, yeah. Like, yeah. 80s. To, yeah. to 80s, you know, and they all, even from the smallest to the oldest, come back with pretty much the same information to, towards us. Like, you guys helped me A, B, and C. Yeah. You mm -hmm. showed me that I can, you know, we are, right. we, when we say we are the voice of the everyday woman, that is literally who we are because I mean, just, just take who we are as women, black women. Yes. We are, you know, yes. we, most of the time our voices are dimmed. Most of the times we mm -hmm. are put in spaces that we don't, we aren't able to be our most authentic selves. Most of the times mm -hmm. we're put in spaces that our lights, you know, everything is just, you know, you hide and you know you can talk from the mm -hmm. side or whatever. But we <laughs> are in a in a space where we're able to voice our opinions and voice how we feel and voice that we love what we love and voice, you know, mm -hmm. voice all these things that other women like in your generation or generations even older feel yes. like they never had that. They never right. Right. talk about well, these. Well we have we had unspoken rules, right? It's yeah. you don't do that. That's yeah. not the way you present yourself. You you know you gotta work harder to get where you want to mm -hmm. go. You know, mm -hmm. um you don't necessarily promote you know, your wins and your successes, right? Yeah. Whereas though I have to say, I've watched you over the year get stronger, right? Yeah. And I think the things that we're, the rules that you don't seem to have to, or feel, or even think about, even with a side eye of having to pay attention to or work around where we did, I see mm -hmm. you being bolder than we've ever been able to do. Yes. And I've yes. watched you specifically as I'm thinking about it, you know, you, as we've all said, you step out and it seems without fear, without, you know, necessarily yeah. worry about what anybody else is saying. And I hope that we're impacting other people that way too. Mm -hmm. right. We've become, I think what's really key, Chrissy, is we became a tribe for, for each other too. So right. as a result of this, we even were meeting on a weekly basis independent of the show. So I think what we bring to the show is inviting everybody who doesn't have a tribe or has a tribe, right? to come be with us and, mm -hmm. you know, experience and or, you know, share the same experiences we're having in that forum. Yeah. I don't like the fact that this was birthed out of the pandemic when most people were feeling isolated. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And, they couldn't, and they couldn't go to Cancun or hang out in Vegas or go to New York or whatever their, you know, girls trip. They couldn't go to <laughs> 
They couldn't go to Essence Festival. And to no. be able to have and share with what you all were doing, that was a blessing. That was yeah. a blessing. Now, you can really sis. Sis, what, huh? what you got going on? <laughs> what? what what you say, I'm just saying, I said you've been a little quiet, and I just want to know, like, what's your what's your take? Because I do understand that you know you all are from all over the world. Um, so, what are some of the things that you feel like you take away from this group and that you share? Are you talking to Edna? Yes. Oh, me. Oh, so funny. Um, thank you, thank you, Michelle. You Funny you said that. Okay, I have plenty of say to say. Uh, first, I actually want to say a big thank you to Miss Nikki. I'll tell you why. She, I've known her for 10 years. She created our group at a point of my life where my gut was telling me it was time to, I'm going to use Chandra's term, pivot. But because of Lasha is going to say yes because of life, because of scare, mm -hmm. because of you know whatever happens alive and the layers that build on us. Mm -hmm. We sometimes mm -hmm. and I am I'm gonna stop saying we, I'm gonna say I. I lost touch with who I was and I lost mm -hmm. touch with the essence mm -hmm. of who I was. I came here in New York when I was 22 by myself with a dream without my parents, without family, with a limited vocabulary in English, just enough to get by, with a mm -hmm. thickest French accent that you ever heard in your life. But I still came here. Yes. And within six months, I was waitressing table. Within a mm -hmm. year and a half, I was at Alvin LA. Within three, four years, I was dancing. Within five mm -hmm. years, I was teaching at Equinox, one of the best gyms in the city. So I had that fire in me, but becoming a mom, having the wrong partner, like I said, those layers yeah. deepen my light. Mm. And when Nikki came, I'm about to cry, Nikki. <laughs> Don't you want to get out of here? She's about to make when me Nikki, cry. When Nikki came and said that, I was, I don't know if I ever told you guys, ladies, that, but I was at a point where I wanted, I, I can't think about a better term. I wanted to literally get naked. I wanted to strip away everything. I just didn't know how. I didn't have the strength to. I wanted to shut down the business. I wanted to move. I knew it was not where I needed to be. I knew I had to do something. I just didn't know how to, and I was exhausted. And I was at a point of like, I'm gonna cry. I might be like, I don't know what to do. It was like hell. In my head was hell, but I knew I had to do something. So Nikki came and she did this. And I'm sometimes I think sometimes I'm the most quiet one, but I feel like I'm the one that also takes on the most information because what you guys gave me is you taught me how to find myself again. Mm. You taught me how to use boundaries because I have to come first in order to love the one that I have around me. You taught me that being loud and frank and say fuck every five seconds is okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chrissy. You know I'm going to say no, that. No, no, no. This is you good. This is good. Taught me Don't that. apologize. Don't apologize, honey. I'm not apologizing. I'm just saying, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought me, uh, you guys allow me to find who was there when she came to New York 20 years ago and find that boldness again. And that's why when you ask me, the person that's here is not the person that you're going to see tomorrow. And that's not the person that was here 20 years ago, but that's the person that had that fire 20 years ago that's wiser and that's finding herself. Um, so that taught me a lot. That taught me a lot and allowed me to strip down the old clothes that I had put on over the last 15 years and rebuilt my new wardrobe, so to speak. I love it. That's awesome, Edmund. I know. This is my new wardrobe. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I like know. that. I you like all got that. some catchphrases, baby. I mean, what y'all <laughs> I know, and we got her. I was about to say, Nikki, did you write that down? Because that's a I show. Know. Okay, what it was that's a show. show. That's, that's a show. Wardrobe. Strip it off. I don't know about anybody else, but I know that my life remains so busy, and I believe there are a lot of women like this. Like, I just was not creating space for me. 
So yeah. the show, when we started doing it on a weekly basis, like it was the time that I just kind of sat and thought. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's what I would hope we're also offering to everybody as well. And the pandemic may have just helped us for those yes. that were mm -hmm. to force them to go in that space as well, to realize that it's something that they need and that they want to continue to do. Yeah. Wow. I, think. I mean, Michelle, Michelle says it all the time. Is is the pandemic was a gift? Yes, it was. <laughs> and it, it, it yeah. fits, you know. Yeah, it the was. pandemic was a, a gift was. to a lot of us yeah. that needed a break. Mm -hmm. And and it it a break. It that. <laughs> or in my case, I just needed to reconnect again. Yeah. It forced it forced me to slow down. Mm. It forced me mm. to slow down. Yes. And really decide to yes. do this. And um, the first phone calls I made, I called Crystal and Michelle. Crystal and Michelle. And I was like, I have I have this idea. You want to do it on Saturday? They were like, yeah. And then I saw Emma because I had interviewed Emma for something else. I was like, Emma. And then I called Nikki on boss as like, not necessarily to be on the show yet, but to say, Nikki, what do you think about this? Oh, I think it's going to be good. And I think you need this. And I think you need that. And, and don't do it. I, yeah. And I'll be in the audience. And I'll be in the I'll audience. Right? I'll, I'll, be in the audience. <laughs> I'll be in the audience. And then I was sharing with Chandra about it. And Chandra would come on. And so we started off. It was um, Ed May, Crystal, Lachelle, myself. And I felt like that I needed a white girl on there. You know, to try to be like, oh, let me let me make sure I get everybody. Or wow. you know, I felt like I needed something. And it's not that it just it just I was looking, I was like, okay, this is not quite it. So I brought a young girl and she was great, but it still wasn't quite it. And then one day mm -hmm. we need I may mute yourself back. I got you. And then one day we needed to um we we needed a sub. So I called Nikki Curry. I said, Nikki, you should come on. And she like, huh? <laughs> and I was like, Nikki, you give me all these great ideas and I share them with the women. So come on. So Nikki comes on. And it's like, okay, this is getting kind of it, it, is is this where it's still in Sean? Just getting kind of lit. I was like, okay. And then we had Chandra come on as a guest. And when Chandra came on, it was like, it was like magic. Yeah. It was so, and I looked at all of their faces and of course I had tears in my eyes and I said, this is it, this is it. And it was also the first time that I realized too, I don't, and, and I say this, I don't need to have a white girl. I don't need to have this. This is where it's supposed to be. And let me tell you something, Christy, what makes me feel so great, we have white women, black women, you know, Latin women, Asian women, we have men tuning into our show every yep. Saturday. And, and we're representing them all. Yeah, and how many, <laughs> yes. shows, and how many shows do you see with six women of color on crossing all of these boundaries. They always got a somebody, they got somebody here and somebody here. Mm. So it brings me joy that we're talking and people are listening. And it's another just thing authentic. Is, it's so authentic. And my mom, Crystal and I would talk about this. Both of our parents at first weren't tuning in. Uh, my mom wasn't tuning in because she would say she wanted it to be a space for my cousin that watches. And then also she was like, oh, I've been there, done it. I've already heard all this. My mom is on every Saturday. If she can't be on, she will watch it on demand. And she's like, y'all are good. Y'all are good. I wrote, And she'll have notes that everyone else says. So I just, yeah. I think that's, I, when I heard that, I knew we were, we were doing something and to hear um, my mom say stuff and to hear Lachelle's mom speak and Crystal's mom speak, to hear Nikki's sister speak so highly about what we're doing, women that I look up to and I heed to what they say makes, makes, makes me feel like, makes me know that we are in the right space. Yeah. Yeah. 
Even yeah. the show we did when our viewers spoke, like that brought us all to tears. I mean, yeah. Nikki talked about how we represent a multitude of different types of individuals and people. A lot of what we're experiencing is not independent of, you know, color, um, uh, I should say race or, you know, gender. Um, but we've also taught people, right, that are listening to us, the experiences that we are facing being, you know, how we how we present as well. Muted. You're muted, Christy. Um, hey. um, I, I want to say something. Thank you, Michelle. Um, I want to say this as our, our Chandra comes back again, that uh, one of the things that I, I'm finding in my own sisterhood is that because women of color, and I'm going to say black women, have not felt heard in a long time, that now that we're having these conversations, there is such a universality to it. Because yeah. actually that a part of the culture in the world, particularly in America, has been pushed forward and through our ancestors speaking. Yeah. Real talk. Real and I talk. Think part of the moral decay in America has come when we were silenced. And yeah. now we are speaking again, there's gonna be a healing within ourselves, within our families, within our men, and within the world. Within our community, that's right, that's Absolutely. right. Absolutely, I'm glad you said that out loud. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's something that I believe wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. One of the shows that we had, uh, we were talking about how our ancestors and mm -hmm. how generations have been silenced and how we yeah. don't pass on knowledge mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. and it kind of just stopped and i was like no 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 i'm yeah. stopping that generational curse like <laughs> I'm, talking to my, I'm talking to my babies you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying i'm talking to the, the yeah. people under me and that and and they have my sisters have stopped the generational cur curses because mm -hmm. they are talking to people like younger you know mm -hmm sisters like me and you yeah. know but there yeah. was a time where our ancestors were yeah. just silenced yeah. and was, memory and history and all that mm. kind of stuff it just kind mm. of fall short we're like well, well yeah. what happened because nobody right. nobody mm. told what what the next steps were so i'm like mm. a, part, a part of growing a community and growing a sisterhood or a yes. womanhood or anything yes. of that nature yes. is speaking into them yes it's the power of voice the power of voice. I mean, into the metaphysical, you know, as a journalist, as a person who has understood the power of media, understanding that media, whoever controls the media, controls the minds and controls the masses. And also understanding from my spiritual beliefs that when God spoke a thing, it became a thing. And if yes. I got into that thing, come on now. Speak what you want, honey. Speak what you want. want. I want to add one thing. I want to add one thing. Um, mm. One of the things we always talk about, we got my son. One of the things that I think is so particular about us and the group, and it's it's really um, not just to black women, but to women in general, mm -hmm. is yes. we always try to talk about women being entrepreneurs and women being boss. Mm -hmm. And we try to uh, bring tools that will help women of all colors and races to become mm. successful and to yes. find their own path. So it's two yes. things that we're really doing is talking about embracing and not being ashamed of who we are, whatever yes. that is, and to really embrace our personality. Mm. Because a lot of times we've been told so many times, you can't do this, you can't say that, you can't, you know, it's no, 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 no. Yes. So one of the things that especially Michelle has been doing is helping us find who we are and then yeah. take it to the next level and exploit. And I said exploit in the sense of making money or being mm -hmm. successful, the talents that we all have within ourselves. And, 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 and I want to bring it up there. I want to pick it back <laughs> on that. Like Lachelle says, you know, we're talking about speaking what you want. Lachelle really, I mean, that that's that's what we do. We speak what we want and we got our right. speaking what they want. And just by, like, I don't even know if y'all know this, but some days I'll walk and I'll go, okay, I want to do this. And I'll just speak it out loud. That's right. And 
in two days something happened. I I I some something that um we'll share with you guys later, but I've been speaking something in the universe. And mm -hmm. this morning, mm -hmm. things came this way. And then of this course. afternoon, some things came this way. You know, of and course. then we're talking to you guys, I get a text message. So really heeding to that and speaking mm -hmm. what you want, I really, I really know by sharing that with our viewers, things have been changing. Mm -hmm. Not only a lot. with them, but with us and the show and, you know, so. Yeah, it's beautiful. You get what you ask for. And women historically have been yes. conditioned not to ask for anything, just to do. And that's over. Yeah, that's over. That's, that's over. over. That's over. You, you know why? Because they know the second we're going to ask for it, we're going to get it. Exactly. <laughs> and when a woman has what she wants, Come on now. the rest of the world gets what they need. And Yay. that's the disconnect. See, that is where the famine has been yes. in our world. When a mm -hmm. woman gets what she wants, everybody else gets what they need. Hey, when a woman- Come on now, come on. Come on. Anybody else Can you get that on a t-shirt too? I'll write that down. <laughs> And, and yes, you yes, in your head, but I'm yes, sir, at you. I, I want that T-shirt. Christy, guess who has a T-shirt business? Who? Chandra. Baby, okay. I'm look. I'm gonna be on the website checking it out. You definitely should. You know, they always say, uh, "Behind the great man lays a, a, a great woman," or something like that. Now. Mm -hmm. No, how about behind a great woman lays a group of sisters? Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's she right. Say that. She better say that. Well, wow. that was needed, right. right. and we you need know, more of that because women do not support each other the way they mm -hmm. should. Right, and, and, and we're example that's that. changing. But yeah, but I think that that's changing too. It is changing, but that is not the norm. Change. And yeah. I think that that I think that that has been the disruption <clears throat> that led to the silence. Mm, agreed. And, and the universal mind, God and all of it. Well, it's it, either you or me, right? So if I want to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's causing. Because, okay, this, uh, without going super, super deep, this is when I get off. Come on with it, Christine. Listen, listen, listen. This is what we I, do. I believe, I believe that the, the, the divine father, I believe that God is, God is the cosmos. God is the divine. God is the supernatural energy. God is all the breath that is in our body, that is God. And I also believe that the earth, which is our nurturing mother, that they have decided that it's time for the mother to speak. And we are Amen. the extension of that, of the feminine power. Come uh -huh. on. That's right. And yes. that is how we are as the human race evolving. And so if exactly. we in any fashion, if we are in tune or aligned at all with the wind, the earth, the trees, it forces us to now speak to the wind, which is That's God. Right. His That's breath, right. To create the world as it needs to be. Genesis 1 and 1. Hover <laughs> yes. and speak. Yes. Come with y'all. Come Christy, on, Chris. I do have to say this. You know, you know, you say you grew up in the church. You know, in the church, when you say something, they want to throw your shoe at you. <laughs> at, at a 20. Amen. At a 20. What you say, honey? But that's that's pure. That's and, pure and I fact. Yes. Yes, Michelle. Wait, I, I, I saw this um post or a, a, a quote, I guess, um, that someone someone put up. And it just rang so deep with me. It said, um, it said in death at your mm. funeral, it takes eight to carry you to your grave. Mm. Eight, eight par, uh, par barrels That's true. That's to carry true. you to your grave. Why do we try to do everything by ourselves while living? Ooh. That's another thing, bro. <laughs> Why are you I wasting said, today to share that? That's a text. That's like but something. Know, that but you know what though? But it but, quickens but, me every mm -hmm. time I think about that 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 phrase, mm -hmm. that quote. Every time I look at look at something or mm -hmm. feel anything that's like me working or me doing or whatever, I think about that. It's just like it takes yeah. eight eight to, to carry get you through your grave 
Why yes. am I am trying I to this? do this by myself? So, All right. and, so, uh, and, but I'm so glad you said that because that's one of the hmm. things that our the show has taught, I can say me, that me I, hmm. I don't have to do things by myself. I'll never forget that day when Sean just said, Nikki, why are you doing this by yourself? I was like, it's not that I want to. I just got so conditioned to doing it. And I'm like, take it, help me. <laughs> you know? Yes. And now I find myself as a result of this show asking for help. For saying, can you do this? Can you do that? Y'all yeah. listen to this. And I know y'all would get a kick out of this. I have I had theater, I had my theater kids today. I know. My assistant is my um, also my assistant director of the kids. She, Anna East, and Ava are running rehearsal today. Of course they are. Who's Anna East? My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're running rehearsal today. And Go. I and this is I feel so at ease. Mm. I feel so, I don't feel worried. Yeah. That's feminine power. Yeah. Come on, Michelle. That's feminine power at its greatest, right? Yeah. Is to have yeah. the confidence in the universal feminine that yeah. all you need is right there. Mm -hmm. You have three young women running your baby right now mm -hmm. while you sit and pour in and take from this cup. Yeah. Like ah. that's feminine power. That is. I texted Anais and I was like, Are you sure you have work to do? Because Nikki is going to be in an interview. And she says, yes, I know. Daya and I were running it. That's right. <laughs> That's I love right. it. I love it. These I are the generations it. coming behind yeah. us. Yes. And how we're showing up is mm -hmm. so different mm -hmm. than how the women that I got to watch could show yes. up. Correct. Right? They, they, were, right. they were prescribed mm -hmm. a role to play. Mm -hmm. And we do not do right. that anymore. And it's been work for some of us, right? Yes. The older mm -hmm. women in this group, it's been mm -hmm. work for us yeah. to, to let go of what we've been yes. taught and conditioned. Mm -hmm. But we are letting it go, right? Yes. Because mm -hmm. as much as we're clearing a path, we're also being shown a path that's unfamiliar to us. And collectively, we're brave enough to walk down that path together with us collectively. It's not so scary when you go there with your sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She yep. don't preach the word. Where's, where's the benediction? Who's, who's the <laughs> Christy, Christy, oh, that's, no. Christy, that's how we feel every Saturday. We're like, okay, all right. And that's in there. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. That's, that's what it. we call it. Right. Thank you, Michelle. She has pretty much brought us to the benediction. Amen. Amen. And Nikki, I want you to tell them how they can further support this amazing sisterhood. Well, everyone, tune in to uh, the Ladies First Chit Chat crew mm -hmm. on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can go to the Ladies First Chit Chat crew.com and go on there. You can see who Nikki on Boss is, Crystal, Chandra, Edme, Lachelle, and myself, and a little bit more about what we do on Saturdays. You can see past episodes. But come, join the sisterhood. We have a ball every Saturday. And if you cannot see us at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can always go to our website, click that YouTube link, click that Facebook link, and you can watch all of our shows or watch the show that you've missed. So yes. the Lady First Chit Chat Crew.com. You can also follow us on Instagram at the Ladies First Chit Chat Crew. Yep. And from there, too, you guys, you love Nikki, you love Crystal, you love Chandra, Edme, and Lachelle. You can also find who they are and what yes. they're doing as well. Yay! Thank y'all for letting me be a part today. You, you, you are, are welcome. Addition. Oh, Chris, welcome you addition. Welcome addition. Good, honey. We're gonna have to have you on the show and say, Chris, 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 Chris. This felt like Saturday. It did feel like Saturday. Like Saturday. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you all bringing your love and your power to the Christy Taylor Show. And my pleasure. Thank you. Until thank next you for time. having us. We're sending yes, thank you so you much love. Us. Thank you.
All right. Blessings, everyone. And until next time, the Christy Taylor Show.